This video highlights the grace-filled journey of Right Reverend Dr. Givargis Mar Theodosius and is being produced to celebrate his installation on July 12, 2020 as the Suffragan Metropolitan of the Martoma Syrian Church. Kaanatha thayilla kaariyangale devathil nisheyullavaraayitta thiruvanda kunnadiyaanu. ദൈവം എന്നെ അയക്കുന്നു എന്ന് മനസ്സിലാക്കുമ്പോൾ ദൈവം കൂടെയുണ്ട് എന്നുള്ള വിശ്വാസത്തിൽ ഉറയ്ക്കുന്നതിനായിട്ട് നമുക്ക് സാധ്യമായിട്ടുള്ളൂ എന്നാൽ എപ്പോൾ മുറി കേൾക്കുന്നുവോ അവിടെ എല്ലാവരും ഇട്ടിട്ട് പോകുന്നതായുള്ള സാഹചര്യമാണ് കാണാൻ വേണ്ടിയാകുന്നത് എന്നാൽ സഭയുടെ സ്വഭാവം മുറിവേറ്റവർക്ക് ആവശ്യമായുള്ള സൗഖ്യം നൽകുവാണ്ട കാണുന്നത് ജനമധ്യത്തിലേക്ക് ഇറങ്ങി ചെല്ലുന്നതായുള്ള സഭയായിരിക്കണം നമ്മൾ ഇടപെടുന്നതായുള്ള ആളുകളും മനുഷ്യരാണ് മനുഷ്യത്വപരമായിട്ട് ഇടപെടുക എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് അതിൽ നിന്ന് വ്യത്യാസം ഒരു മനുഷ്യൻ്റെ ആവശ്യത്തെ മനസ്സിലാക്കി ആ ആവശ്യത്തിൽ അവനോടുകൂടി അവളോടുകൂടെ നിൽക്കുവാൻ കൊണ്ട് ഇടയായിത്തീരുന്ന ഒരു ഹൃദയവും ഒരു മനസ്സും ജീവിതത്തിൽ ഉളവാകുന്ന അവസരത്തിലാണ് മനുഷ്യത്വത്തോടു കൂടി ഇടപെടുവാൻ കഴിയുന്നു എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് മാർ തിയഡോഷ്യസ് വാസ് ബോൺ ഓൺ ഫെബ്രുവരി ടു ഡോക്ടർ കെ ജെ ചാക്കോ ആൻഡ് മിസ്സസ് മറിയാമ സിമോണി ചാക്കോ ഓഫ് ദ കിഴക്കെ ചക്കാലയിൽ ഫാമിലി ഇൻ അഷ്ടമുടി He was named George Jacob. He studied at the Martoma Seminary School Kotayam, the Basilius College Kotayam, and the Martoma College Thiruvalla, and obtained his Bachelor of Divinity degree from the Leonard Theological College in Jabalpur. He was ordained as a deacon, Shemashan, on June 24, 1972, and as a priest, Kashisha, Reverend Jacob. George Jacob on February 24, 1973. His first appointment as a priest was in the St. Thomas Martoma Church, Santa Cruz, Mumbai. In 1980, he obtained a master's degree in comparative religions from the Vishwa Bharati University in Kolkata. And in 1986, he obtained his PhD, Doctor of Philosophy and Religions, from the McMaster University in Toronto, Canada. While studying in Toronto, he also served as the vicar of the Toronto parish and neighboring congregations. Reverend George Jacob was elected as a candidate for episcopacy while serving as the vicar of the St. Paul's Martoma Church, Coricode. He was ordained as Ramban on November 4, 1989. and was consecrated as Givergis Mar Theodosius Episcopa on December 9, 1989. As Episcopa, he took charge of the Madras Kundamkulam Malabar Diocese. It was during this period that the diocese acquired its new diocesan center, the land for the deaf and dumb school, and land for mission houses and churches. Many evangelists were appointed to serve in these places. He also took the initiative to start the Karnataka mission field and translate the Marthoma liturgy into the Kannada language. He then served as episcopa of the Thiruvananthapuram Kollam diocese and initiated projects such as house for the landless and homeless, educational help for poor students rehabilitation of mental patients sneha theeram for the hiv aids patients an old age home at katakada compassion international units new land and building for the hospital guidance center and the retreat center at peringala Marthiadosius then served as episcopa of the Chennai Bangalore Malaysia Singapore and Australia diocese under his tenure new mission fields were started in Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh schemes like marriage aid 
education aid, community health work, house for the houseless were initiated. Under his leadership, steps were also initiated for the development of the Marthoma Center in Bangalore and the Student Center in Chennai. Marthyodosius then took charge as Episcopa of the Diocese of North America and Europe on January 1, 2009. During his tenure, he initiated several projects for the benefit of the second, third and fourth generations of the Marthoma diaspora within the diocese to stay connected with the faith and practices of the Marthoma Church. His most significant initiatives geared to the youth included revising and translating the English worship liturgy and the worship order for special occasions, increasing the number of English services and taking steps to start an English congregation in Dallas, encouraging the older generation to provide leadership roles and opportunities to the younger generation, initiating the Altar Boys and Covenant Girls program for grooming the younger generations to serve and learn more about the church from a younger age. For the diocesan mission activities, he encouraged parishes and youth groups to start neighborhood mission projects. The mission work among Native Americans was expanded into additional areas. Several steps were taken to improve the living conditions of the residents at Colonia Martoma, the Mexico mission field in Matamoros, Mexico, which included building kitchen and toilet facilities for each house, bringing electricity and water storage facilities for the residents, encouraging residents to do their own gardening and poultry and pig farming, initiating the Manna project to provide nutritious food for the residents and alleviate their poverty and malnutrition, consecrating the newly constructed chapel at Colonia Martoma and translating the liturgy to the Spanish language for conducting regular communion services at Colonia Martoma. To strengthen the diocese in all its regions, he set up regional activity committees, RACs, in all eight regions. Some of the RACs have registered within their respective states and undertaken different projects. He also initiated the Young Family Fellowship and Senior Fellowship programs in parishes for benefiting the clergy who were citizens of countries within the diocese, he revised their pension fund and set up higher studies scholarship. To communicate more effectively with the community using modern technology, he initiated the Besora, a monthly electronic newsletter of the diocese. The Word for the Day, a daily meditation via the internet. The IT Fellowship, to support the IT community in the diocese, as well as to support the technology needs of the diocese. To commemorate the Diocese in Silver Jubilee in 2013, he launched the Going Green Project, demonstrating his love of nature and his enthusiasm to preserve and protect it. He planted a tree in most parishes that he visited and urged members to do the same in their own yards. His dedication to being a steward of God's creation follows him wherever he ministers. His ecumenical zeal was evidenced through annual ecumenical fellowship and dinner meetings in various regions of the diocese, in which leaders of various denominations, local leaders, and leaders of national church councils were invited to speak. During his tenure in the North America and Europe diocese, the following eight publications were released. In Search of Christian Identity in Global Community, a festscrift volume with essays and tributes in honor of Givergis Marthiodosius Episcopa PhD, the second edition in April 2009. Worship Order for Special Occasions in 2010. Order of Worship for Divine Service, Holy Kurbana, and Other Sacraments and Rites in 2012. Word for the Day, Daily Meditations, 2012 and 2013. 
Church, Journeying with Christ, a Silver Jubilee publication of the Marthoma Church, Diocese of North America and Europe in 2013. Focus on the word Journeying with Christ, Bible Studies in 2013. Beyond the Diaspora, Marthoma Church, Identity and Mission in the Context of Multiplicity, a Festgriff volume to commemorate the Silver Jubilee of Marthyodosius' Episcopacy in 2014. Marthyodosius took charge as the Episcopa of the Mumbai Diocese from April 1, 2016. In the Mumbai Diocese, he worked hard to lead many initiatives such as giving a voice to the downtrodden, especially the Katkari group of Adivasis, who are even excluded by other Adivasis, providing long-term vision and sustainability to the ongoing Navjivan Center's ministries that cater to the needs of the commercial sex workers and aids their rehabilitation, providing long-term vision and sustainability to the Navodaya movement and its work amongst the transgender community to ensure that they are treated on par with other human beings, and enhancing the ministry to the children of the rag pickers community for ensuring they receive good education, good food, and hope for a better future. He has supported and promoted the Save a Heart program wherein the offertory collected during the Episcopal visit to the parishes and the diocese are used to fund the cardiac surgery of financially needy patients. Marthyodosius initiated the Streams of Living Water project for providing drinking water to the people in the arid and drought-struck regions of Maharashtra and in the areas of Aurangabad and Pipalpada. When the massive floods affected his home state of Kerala, Mar Theodosius initiated a concerted effort to bring relief materials to the needy. His empathy for others also initiated the Come and Dine project, whereby churches provide food packets to the hungry in their vicinity. By initiating the Go Green Care for the Earth project, Marthyodosius provided a green cover in barren lands by having 5,000 saplings planted in the Navjivan Center Morbad, Lonavala Mar Chrysostom Ashram, and in the institutions and mission fields of the diocese. In place of floral bouquets, Marthyodosius prefers plant saplings, which can be planted in apt places. Continuing with the green initiative, under Mar Theodosius's guidance, cloth bags were made available by the diocese to encourage each family to switch to reusable environment-friendly bags and discourage the use of plastic bags. Diocese encirclers or kalpanas are issued through electronic means. Mar Theodosius also pays keen attention to the development of viable infrastructures to support and enhance ongoing programs. At the Mar Chrysostom Ashram Kamshet, he initiated the construction of the new school building, residence facilities for the director, modern kitchen equipment for the camp center, the pavilion and asphalt rooms. At the Navjivan Center Murbad, to assist in the holistic upbringing of the resident children, he ensured that the property was fenced and included water collection ponds, cattle sheds, a multi-purpose hall, solar-powered electricity, and poultry and fish cultivation. Mar Theodosius also initiated the release of the Holy Kurbana Taksa, the regular worship orders, and the songbook in Marathi, which is the vernacular language of the believers in the mission fields. He also ensured that missionary achins are available in the region to provide pastoral care and render the sacraments for the believers. On December 9, 2019, Mar Theodosius completed 30 years in his Episcopal ministry, along with Right Reverend Dr. Joachim Mar Kurlos, 
and the late lamented Right Reverend Giver Gismar Athanasius. On December 7, 2019, the Mumbai Diocese organized a salutatory function to celebrate the occasion at the St. John's Marthoma Church, Pune. The Most Reverend Dr. Joseph Marthoma Metropolitan was the chief guest and bishops from sister churches and other dignitaries were also present. A Feskriff volume titled Beyond Homogeneity, Identities, Mission, Resurgent Fundamentalism was published to commemorate the occasion. Since July 1, 2020, Mar Theodosius has taken the charge as Episcopa of the Rani Nalakal Diocese, in addition to the current responsibility of ministering to the Mumbai Diocese, and therefore he has moved his residence to the Marthoma Center, Mandaram Pio, Rani. On July 12, 2020, Right Reverend Dr. Givorgis Mar Theodosius is being installed as the Suffragan Metropolitan of the Marthoma Syrian Church. The members and clergy of the Marthoma Church wish and pray for the Lord Almighty to strengthen Mar Theodosius to continue to lead the church. Mar Theodosius is a dynamic personality with vision and zeal to serve the Lord and his church. He is a keen observer, an extremely hardworking individual, and a man of integrity. He is disciplined, optimistic, accountable, transparent, and sincere. He is an advocate of change and has no fear in experimenting with new initiatives in the mission and ministry of the church if it promotes God's kingdom values. Mar Theodosius is adept at establishing a global presence of the Marthoma Church. In his own words, the challenge of the Marthoma Church in the 21st century is to assume its global nature by transcending the boundaries set by the familiar religion and culture. Mar Theodosius's inclusive love for others and his enthusiasm to minister comes from the call of Christ, love your neighbor as yourself, as stated in Mark chapter 12, verse 31. Right Reverend Dr. Gibergis Mar Theodosius is a church leader whose leadership decisions leave lasting imprints of God's love in every place that he serves. While great challenges lie before him and the church in this current era, we pray that God will grant him the vision, strength and grace to emulate the servant leadership of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.